Hello everyone, you're welcome to our YouTube channel, Marriage Tips with Asperia. Today, baby cannot let me make video. So she had decided to join me and yes, baby, say bye. Say hello. Say hello aunties, hello uncles. My name is Esther. So today we are going to learn about how to treat our husbands in a way that will please God. How God wants us to treat our husbands. So this video is highly recommended to everyone who is married and that one who is planning to get married and that one who wants to get married in the future. So make sure you click this video so i'm going to come back with more let me first take care of the baby you see she's the morning uh, baby mm. so as you can see she's going nowhere <laughs> So it's the way of God that we treat our husbands in a way that pleases him. Because God saw that it was not good for man to be alone and he created him a helpmate who happens to be a woman. If you are there and you're married, you are a helpmate to your husband. So in today's video, we are looking at some of the things we can do to treat our husbands better. Number one, treat him with a lot of care. Mm -mm. You eat. Yes, treat your husband with a lot of care. Now, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 31 and verse, um, verse 12, it says, She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Now, treating well your husband means doing him good. A godly wife knows how to treat her husband in a good way. Now, so many times our husbands are not perfect. They are going to do things that are not right, things that are so annoying, things that are going to hurt us. But that doesn't mean we should stop taking good care of them. Now, in taking good care of them, that includes caring for them by cooking for them food, washing their clothes, doing some of the things that they may not manage to do. In that way, you are taking good care of your husband. You're actually doing him good. And that is so pleasing in the sight of God. So, if you want to be a godly wife, you have to start taking good care of your husband. That is what God wants you to do. The primary role of a wife is to be a housekeeper. And in keeping a house, a lot of things that we are supposed to do as we are keeping our homes. But nowadays, today, work has taken people a lot of things. You find the wife is hardly at home. The wife doesn't even know who is cooking for her husband. Doesn't know whether the husband has eaten or not. That is not what God wants us to do. Treat your husband like a king with a lot of care. She's not drinking water after eating bread. Oh, baby. <laughs> Number two, treat your husband with respect. That is what God wants every wife to do. A godly wife should respect your husband. Now, respecting your husband is something big. It takes you a lot of sacrifice. Now, you have to listen to him. Listen to his ideas. Listen to his plans. Listen to what he says. You know, sometimes women, we are not good at listening. Yes, we can hear, but we don't listen. You know, listening goes far beyond hearing. When he's talking, you got to, to keep quiet and listen. L think about what he's talking about. So many ladies out there over talk their husbands. The husband's talking, maybe you're even in public. Probably you are adding words. You are trying to show people that he, you can speak for him. Now that is disrespect. Respect is when you will wait for him to speak and you listen and then you talk. So many times I personally have failed to listen and I'm really sorry, babe, if you are watching this video. So we need to respect our husbands. And uh, secondly, respect also involves treating him fairly. You know, sometimes you are so rude because mm, he has left here a cup and you feel like you should not put that cup there. That's not where it belongs. You know, you want perfect things. Like sometimes he can eat and then he goes away. He leaves a place there and you'll be like, 
<laughs> you can't even cut this plate and take it that side. You know, we are supposed to take it for him. If that is what will bring problems, do that. You know, so that means also respect also means making him feel valued, making him feel like he's a man. You know, sometimes we undermine them. We, we look at what they're doing and be like, ah, this is not good. And we end up not respecting them. And we end up not respecting them. So I'm not saying that you should tolerate everything that your husband is going to say. Remember, you have to obey God first. Now, the book the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 33, it says, Nevertheless, that every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. So every wife is supposed to reverence her husband. To treat your husband with respect. That is what will please God. If you disrespect your husband, God is not going to be pleased with you. Number three, be virtuous and graceful. Now the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 12, Proverbs chapter 12 and verse Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 4 it says a virtuous woman is it says a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband but she that maketh ashamed is rottenness in his bones now for you to treat your husband well you have to be a virtuous woman now, now virtuous means a woman with higher moral standards now this means you are going to have good manners behavior that is beyond understanding of men you know the bible also says that he who make she who makes him ashamed is rottenness in his bones you know there are so many times when men do not want to come back home because their wives cannot treat them fairly they are not graceful you come back home when you are very tired the wife is all nagging quarreling abusing like you feel like the home is not a good place for you that's why we see them going to bars going to other places where they feel comfortable and that is really not good you be a virtuous woman, a woman that has higher moral standards. Don't be there that you want to ashamed your man every time you are speaking against him, you are talking bad things about him in your friends. So, so many men have lost respect in public because of the way their wives speak against them, about them. You find you're in a saloon, all you do is to discuss your husband, what he did, what he is, where, like, don't you know that that can also ashamed you in one way or the other? A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. Are you really a crown to your husband? Or oh, you are a rottenness in his bones. Start being virtuous and graceful. Number four, be his companion. Now, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18, it says, And the Lord God said, It's not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Praise the Lord. Now, the primary role of a woman is to be a helper, a helpmeet, a companion for this man. Now, so many men, they are married, but they don't have companionship at home. Like, the, the man cannot find peace in you. You are not this person that is available for him. Now, if you want to treat him in a way that pleases God, you have to be available for him, be a shoulder for him to lean on, be trusted, let him be able to speak to you about what his struggles are, what his work is all about, his finances, spend time with him. You know, so many times these men, they are vulnerable, they have so many challenges they go through at workplace, in real life, you know, being ahead of the family, even when you're sick, you have to provide, even when you're not having money, you are, like, you find he's full of thoughts, so you have to be around him, comfort him, and take good care of him. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 11, it says, the heart of her husband do safely trust in her, so that she shall have no need of spoil. Now, does your husband trust you? No, trust goes far beyond just what we look at. Be in position to be trusted. Sometimes women complain, he doesn't tell me how much he's earning, what, what, because he does not trust you. Be a companion. 
Help him be a man that God wants him to be. That is your work. Five, respect his leadership. Yes, you can respect his leadership by obediently submitting to him. Now, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3, it says, But I would have you know that the head of every woman, every man is Christ, and the head of every woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Now, your husband is your head. Now, that doesn't mean that for you, you are inferior. That doesn't mean for you, you are fake or nothing. No, that is God's design. He is the head and he has also his head who is Christ. So you as his wife, you're supposed to obey him, submitting to him. Now, submission, people misunderstand it. It doesn't mean blind obedience. Like if he says, go and steal this, you go and steal. No, 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 no. You have to submit him in the as you submit to God. So to submit to him every time. He's doing things that are pleasant to God. You don't have to go and drink alcohol because you are said we got the bar and then you are obediently submitting to him. You have to correct him and say, babe, that is not what the Bible says. Babe, that's not what God wants. You know, obediently, humbly. You know, so many ladies are not submissive. They, uh, recently I was speaking to a friend and she was like, ah, submission is for all the days when women were foolish. Now, if you don't submit your husband, then do not blame God for not having a happy marriage because you were trying to change his design. He placed you under him, you know, meaning you are under his authority. And that is God's design. Whether your husband has this or the other, he is your head. You have to respect that. You have to submit to your husband. If Dear Christian women, thank you so much for watching this video. A true Christian home involves love, joy, happiness, sacrifice, commitment, forgiveness, and all that. And all that can be found in the Word of God. You have to turn into the Bible for answers to all questions regarding on how to be happily married. You know, so I'm not saying your marriage is going to be perfect, no, but you're going to achieve the happiness through hard work and sacrifice and trusting the Lord. You know, you can do all things, you can be beautiful, have this, have good sex, but without God in your home, it cannot stand. God is the founder of the marriage and he should be the head of your family. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I pray that God blesses you. So you can give me a like or you leave your comments in the comment section below. And we shall read all of them. And we love you so much. Do not forget to subscribe. Bye. It's to say bye. Till we meet in the next video. It's a good, good, goodbye. Baby. So today you chose to make a video. Bye.